Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I like to contour and highlight using my favorite, what is this? Too Cool For School Art Class by Rodin um, contour palette and the new Art Class by Rodin um, illuminator highlighting palette. <laughs> this one originally came out I think like last year and it became really popular in Korea. So um, this year they came out with the new highlighting palette which comes with a kind of um, champagne colored highlight there's a more of like a beigey tone highlight. And then there's a highlighter here that has a sort of like rosy pink hue to it. So you can kind of use it as like a highlighting blush. Now, the way I contour is kind of like the Korean style of contouring where I try to slim down my face and create more of like a V shape. Of course, this is the other sort of contouring where you kind of try to emphasize your cheekbones, but I don't really do that. I don't like having really high looking cheekbones. So this is just what I would like to do. Now, because we're working with powders, I like to set my face like my foundation uh, concealer and stuff um, with a powder so that these powders um, glide on more smoothly. I find that with the formulation of these, you can do it on unpowdered skin, but to make things smoother for myself and easier to apply, I am gonna powder my face. I'm gonna use the Innisfree No Sebum uh, powder as usual and set my whole face. I already have my regular base makeup done. I use the um, Innisfree intense or ampule intense foundation always get that name wrong now my skin is mattified and it's just going to make applying these things much easier now if you're asking everard what brush should i use for contouring and what brush should i use for highlighting there's only one brush you will ever need and that is the innisfree kabuki brush this brush does everything i need it to do in terms of highlighting and contouring it's really good also for setting um your base makeup with a regular powder but I find that it really picks up product well and it applies the right amount. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to start off by slimming down my face to try and give it that sort of V-line um, shape. My jawline isn't too big, so I don't really need to do this. But um, this is for demonstrational purposes only. And I do like to do it just as a definition to um, this part of my jaw because sometimes when I'm looking forward, the side of my jaw can like disappear into my neck. So this is good for that. I'm going to go in with the two lighter shades to kind of get color going on the side of my face and this will help the darker shades blend in better when I go in with that. I like to start off at the like right under my ear and take it downwards kind of like we're shaving away this part of the jaw. I'm just kind of going straight down towards the chin. And then I'm going to take um, the middle shade and then the darker shade and add that more towards like right here, right under the jawline. And then up a little bit to help further emphasize that, that uh, contour that we're building up. You can go as far up as you'd like or you feel it looks more natural and kind of keep it like up to here. One trick that I learned from Shin Nim, a really awesome Korean beauty YouTuber, is to actually take your contour and start from over here. And starting from the chin, going up, like that, that really helps create the illusion of like a more V shaped face. So here, and go up. Love this powder, yes! I really like the color of these powders because it's like proper contouring color. It's not too warm. Um, it's just the right amount of neutral. And then if you want, you can further slim down your face by adding some to the sides of the face here. Not really contouring like the cheek one, but kind of just working to really slim down the sides of your face and shade in that area. So that when you're looking forward, it has, you know, most of the tensions on the center of your face, creating that sort of um, illusion of like a slimmer face. There you go. And then what I'm going to do next is actually contour my nose. I actually do this first usually. Um, and if I'm going to be doing any contour, it's usually my nose. And then if I want to, I'll do my jaw, but nose, I always do. I'm going to use the lightest shade here. And what I'm going to do is um, tap off the excess and then stay more towards like the center of the nose 
create a line on the side of your nose like this. Um, you want to be more towards the center of the nose because you're creating the illusion of like a simmer nose and you're not really doing that if you're going straight onto like the actual side of your nose. So when you're facing forward, you want to try to make the two lines sort of as close to the middle as possible uh, to create that illusion. Oh, creasing under the eyes. So next I'm going to take the middle shade and start from the bottom right here. Make the tip of my nose a little pointier looking. And then just around the front part of the nose, continue to emphasize the slimming of the nose. <laughs> and then whatever's left on the brush, I'll put it like up here. I like to connect it up to my eyebrow just so that there's not like contour and then like skin that you can see and then the eyebrow. I have to go like right into the actual eyebrow. You can actually take a combination of two um, shades and shade down the sides of the nose here. I don't really do this that often these days, but let's get crazy tonight, am I right ladies? And then finally I'm gonna take the deepest shade and kind of a mix of the middle one. And then really concentrate that on like the inter, the inter, the inner part of like the eye socket, where the eye socket meets the bridge of the nose. And that will really um, help emphasize this part and make your nose look taller. This looks really, really good, especially if you don't really have much of like a bridge right here on your nose and it's more flat. Um, it really, especially with these colors, it really gives you that illusion of like, um, or tall nose right there. Whenever I do it on one of my Korean friends that has like a flatter bridge there, like, oh, I fucking love it. <clears throat> I'm gonna be very careful and take like the tiniest amount of that deepest shade and as a last sort of step right here, just right at the very tip, right at the very tip. Then I'm gonna take a blender brush and make sure that's all blended in. There's no harsh lines there. This is a step that I've been kind of doing recently and it's adding a bit of like the lightest shade on like the very, like right above the, you see where the shine is right here? Like right above that, putting a bit of contour there. This will help make it look like the tip of your nose is like up more. It will look a little bit more natural as a contour rather than having like a straight like highlight down here, that break in the nose really helps create the illusion. Hair in my nose. Ugh. Now we're gonna go on to highlighting. Now this palette, I think um, there's the highlighting your face where you can kind of use lighter shades of like concealer foundation to go under the eyes like right here to actually emphasize the um, cheekbone and actually make it look like it's more popped out and your cheeks more voluminous or something or whatever you wanna do. This palette I feel like is more for making your skin look dewy and fresh. And this is good for people with oily skin because if you want that uh, dewy sort of glow, but you don't want to use like actual like liquid dewy products, you can use this because it's the powder. And the formulation of this is super, super creamy. So I feel like it works really well with, um, with putting it on top of even unpowdered um, foundation. My only gripe with this, however, is that it, sometimes it can emphasize like pores. So what I would do is kind of just um, concentrate it on the very tops of the cheeks where there's like less pore visibility, I guess. I'm gonna use the same Kabuki brush because just the shape of this is really fantastic for all the contouring and highlighting we're doing. And then I'm gonna take a mix of the beigey um, highlight and like the more champagne color. Um, tap off the excess because that's a lot of product. Starting here, kind of just placing in like this sort of C shape from above the end of the uh, brow and going onto the cheek sort of to here. Whatever's left, kind of place it over here if you want. Oh my god, my eyes are crazy and ugh. This highlighter palette actually really makes your skin look almost dewy and moist, but it's like a powder. So... A bit more, put it on my forehead. Do you see that glow? Shit! And then a little bit on the chin. And then I'll take the highlighter and put 
put it on the tip of my nose. Just putting it right here really makes your nose look super tall. You know, whatever's left, you can put it like right here. Now, this blush shade, I feel like the pink doesn't really come off on the skin, so it doesn't really translate or register as like a rosy pink blusher, but the amount of shimmer of it really um, accentuates like the highlights. So I like to take the tip of my brush and dip it in there and put it on like the very tops of my cheeks. And this really, if you really want that wet looking glow, this is the powder that will give it to you. And then I'm gonna use the powder brush that I use to set my makeup, kind of go over all that help buff it into the skin making sure that it so that it takes off all of the, the excess and none of the powder is just like sitting on top of your skin and it all kind of like meshes I'm gonna add a little more just cuz I can you know what I learned this recently I want to take a little bit of the contour shades and put that under my lip because apparently it's supposed to make your lips look fuller I guess so that is the finished look. On my monitor, it looks all like washed out, so I don't know if you can really see this on camera. Hopefully you can. So that is how I use the Too Cool For School Art Class by Ronin palettes, the contour and highlight palettes. I hope you found that informational. Um, you don't have to use these palettes in general. Um, there's tons of highlighting and sculpting powders and creams and all that out there. So I will link these two palettes down below if you're interested. And I'll also link my Instagram and Snapchat down there as well. Make sure you follow me there. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.